Okay, I might call this little posting In the Kitchen with Anth. Now, you know, traditionally, when you watch all those, I saw, I, saw, I saw the Anthony Bourdain documentary, I told you about that. But, or maybe I did, well, depending on if you listen, watch me on Instagram or YouTube, you don't know. But the point is, uh, back in the day, all the chefs, not the chef, all the first in the kitchen, they had some wine. They were drinking wine. They were all, like drunks, you know, with the, the, with the laughing, the galloping, going made, uh, you know, all them people, you know. So I want to stay in the tradition. This is a, 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 a California wine. Oh, a Mal Blanc. Uh, a Mal Blanc, um, M-A-L-B-E-C. I don't know how to say this stuff. Sometimes, you know, only one I know how to pronounce is Shiraz. That's the only one. But anyway. And I like, it's a red wine, it's California. But it's a Tom Shula. You know how those, those um, what do you call those? Uh, those athletes. Well, he's a coach, but I mean, you know, he, he must have played football sometimes. Don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not really a drink. It's, it's symbolic. Because <laughs> um, I've been fasting for 36 hours. So, that, hey, if you want to really have your alcohol effect, <laughs> what you do, before you drink and dilute it down, you take, you know, you, you know, you get a little buzz. Anyway, um, I'm going to make a salad because I'll break my fast with a salad. I've been fast for 36 hours. Um, so I already started. I took some, uh, I call them spring onions. Some, you don't call them spring onions, right? And uh, I, uh, I put some turmeric and pepper, a lot of turmeric and pepper. And, I, and then, then I put some sour cream in it like that. This is going to be the dressing for the sour later. But what I'm going to do for that sour later, I'm actually going to take some, some um, well, I guess you call it sardine, but this is the sardines uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, lightly smoked sardines in organic lemon flavored um, extra virgin olive oil. So I'll add that to the thing, make a little thing. And I'll probably add some avocado oil because whatever my salad is, I'm going to have an avocado in it. That's later. But right now I'm making like a, oh, now when uh, Jake's got a good garden, but it's not a cluttered garden. I don't want to criticize the man because, you know, I'm hanging at his house. But, you know, that thing is like, track the rig, got to get him. No, it's going through the thing, the thing, the skills trying to bite me and stuff like that. Anyway, but it has these excellent, now this is the, this is the celery here. But it has these excellent, you know, these, what do you call it, cherry tomatoes, whatever it is like that. Ooh, fresh from the thing. I gotta wash them off, but like that. Well, since I brought the celery out, celery. But as I'm as I'm cooking, now I'm look I'm talking to you right now. But I was listening to uh, I was listening to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. because I do it every week. You know what I mean? He has his podcast. Um, you know, he has his he has his whatever you call that stuff. You know, he's he's transmitting um, over the internet every weekly two hours uh, Tuesdays from nine to eleven. I just get it on the on the on the, on the, on the you know on the repeat when they put it up on the YouTube thing. Uh, had that in the background. Um, so, I, well, I had that in the background. Where's my thing? Oh, here's what I'm doing. Uh, but then I've come across some other stuff. Um, like I know earlier today, I, uh, I told you, I, I told some people, uh, on, a, on, the, um, on Instagram, I think, I, um, um, Tasha K, who I've been following for a long time, following every once in a while, check in, you know, how you're, but she had this, uh, like she often has this exclusive thing uh, with, um, with this sister who, uh, the heck is this? I don't like having stuff in my thing like that. Um, with this sister who, who was, you know, accosted, you know, allegedly, they say that all the time, you know, but because you were not there, you have to say allegedly, I guess. Um, but I had to think with this sister, and she was telling all the stuff that Deshaun Watson was doing, how it evolved. She's like only 22 years old. People say, yeah, but she should not know. No, she's 22. You know what I mean? You know, if she's 32, that's something different. And a woman that's 22, whatever, or less than 25, you know, they just, you know, you know. But anyway, but she, you know, she's trying to do do whatever she's trying to do, you know, raise a son and all that stuff. And, and Deshaun Watson, basically, the boy, like, like the boy, like, there's a thing called a happy ending. Can I tell you this? Okay, this, I'm going to be real. I had a, I had a, had a, had a woman friend one time. Oh, we were pretty intimate. We were very intimate. You know, and, um, she took a trip to Turkey, right? And um, I have to say a lot. Women like to tell me stuff, <laughs> even though it's not that I'm the victim, but I guess they, they say, well, he'll accept it. But, you know, she had a massage in Turkey. Right? And at the end, the guy, you know, uh, started playing with her, her, her anus. And uh, she liked it, you know. It's called a happy ending, right? 
Well, he's in Turkey. You know, she came on back and told me about the thing. But she was sort of like, a, oof. She's rough, man. Anyway, well, yes, yeah, she's rough. She, she wanted things that, oof. But anyway, so that's her proclivities. No problem. I didn't have no problem with it. I'm saying, I had no, have no, have no, absolutely. Yo, my thing is your body is your body. You do what you want to do your body. The thing is, you can't put your stuff on somebody else. Anyway, let me finish up with the Deshaun before I get to something else. But the Deshaun thing is is, 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 is troubling because, you know, especially a lot of, a lot of, a lot of women are going to say, uh, here's what I constantly hear. I'm a woman first. Or I'm a woman, da, 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 da. And my thing is like, hey. What's wrong to me is you're a human first. And if, a, if another human does inhumane things or what you deem inhumane without your permission, then that means that you're not being human. Which means whether whether you're a human, whether you're a woman or whatever, have, has nothing or has a lot to do with it in this, this day and age, this climate, because everybody's, you know, they're very sensitive about that kind of stuff. And my thing is, you know, for instance, okay, I'm a, I, I explained this before. I'm a black man, I'm, but before I'm a, before I'm a, before I'm black, before I'm a man, I'm a human, right? So if you do something to me, yeah, you're doing it to a black man, you know, or an, an older man, you might do it, you know what I mean? But more importantly, you're doing it to a human. And if you're not human, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't deal with other humans. If you do some animalistic or some whatever stuff, then go, go find them people. Okay, let me, let me get off that high boss. Anyway, so, so it was quite interesting. Um, and like I explained before, to me, there's, there's three things that happen, especially in this day and age. There's the legal, say the court, you know, the, the legal, the legal stuff that happens. Okay, so um, so the court will, you know, the law will be the law and he'll, he'll deal with that. Then there's what we call, what I call the karmic law or, you know, uh, say a spiritual law. Now, you can't, you can't really, uh, you can't be on a jury for that like that. You almost have to be, you have to be in a person's presence to feel their Spirit, let's put it that way. I know some people can do it through television, well, whatever. I'm just trying to say you feel the spirit, right? So that's something we can't deal with. Then there's the court of public opinion. And in the court of public opinion, D, 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 Sean, you got a grade D, I'm sorry, they're going down, but hey, stick a fork in your anus and you're done, you know? That's what I'm trying to say, whatever. I know people, you know, people feel some way about it. You know, you got fans and stuff like that, do what they do. And well, that's what they do. I can I can't speak speak for them. Okay, so that's it. Well, let me tell you what I'm doing right now. Now, before I do my salad, I'm waiting for Jake to get back because I wanna I gotta get some. I get, I'm gonna cup of spinach, I guess. Well, here's what I'm doing. See, I'm putting. Oh, you don't see. I'm putting this. This is a celery. You know, the celery groove. I already took the um. What do you call that? The string. I took the knife and you know got the, spr the string. The the the, the the string off the outside, you know, because you know how you have these, how to have the cellulose. I should have it smaller, but you know, outside, you know, I just ripped the thing off. It's organic celery, so I just look like that. And what I'm doing right now, there's this thing, where's the top? Where the top? Yo, where it go? I just gotta show you the bottom, I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, it's called uh, cream cheese original, but it's, what is the heck it is? It's, no. Oh. It's called Just Like Cream Cheese. It's 100% vegan. I don't know what that's in. I don't know whatever, whatever they did, you know. Here we go. Uh, calories, forget that. I don't care about calories. Total fat, 7 grams. Uh, saturated fat. Uh, I don't know what the cholesterol, sodium, uh, uh, total carbs, uh, protein, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, it's got sugar in it? Total sugar, zero. Zero sugar. Okay, because that's good. You don't want no sugar. Uh, calcium, no, no, no. anyway, it's got a bunch of stuff. Where's the top? I don't know where I had to put the top. Okay, so that's so what I'm doing is I'm making it's like say hors d'oeuvres, you know. So I put the this I forgot what it's called already. I'm an old man, I forget stuff real quick. Actually, if it's not important, I will forget it. Just like cream cheese, right? So, so I'm putting it in there like that, right? Let me do another one before you keep going. Then the other thing I was on the internet. Not on the internet, but I was, um, I took a break from this Nilly Fuller Jr. Because, you know, it's, it's two, it's a two hour thing. It's fine. I can do them straight for two hours because to me, it's just like a, um, like a, a Sunday preacher. You know what I mean? He like, he preach out the same book every week. And to me, it's like preaching out the, you know, his holy book. And, and I like it. <laughs> it gives me insight, especially when he talks about other stuff. You know, he uses it as a jumping off point to talk about stuff. 
think this week he said something about the, that he was doing a biplane. He, he learned how to do a, a Piper, you know, curb plane, you know, because uh, he was talking about the Gap Band, because of uh, the Tulsa thing. The GAP stands for like three streets in in, uh, in Tulsa. So, you know, that's that song, you know, the 670 song. You know, um, you know, drop the bomb on me. That, that, you know, you know, the song. OK, so um, so that's where it comes from. The Gap Band, when they did that song for us, it means like, hey, blah, blah, blah. For them, they was talking about their hometown of Tulsa. Interesting, huh? All these years later, Miss Neil, well, uh, what Mr. Bobby found out about it, because he found out about it, conveyed it to Mr. Mr. Fuller, Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. Well, now I found out about it, and I'm supposed to know these things because, well, that's because I'm sort of, I have a, say, a background in those kind of things, right? Even though I'm not really interested in like that. Okay, well, let me just stop with these three. Okay, so I just found out. Simone Biles just up. I mean, I got to check it for myself. This was said, but I guess it's true because it's everybody talking about. I'm not everybody. I'm, I don't know what's happening on social media like that. She quit. She quit. She just said, "I ain't, I, I don't feel right. I'm I'm going through a thing. I don't feel right." What? First of all, it's the Olympics. Forget the Olympics. First of all, you if you did. Uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you ain't had no knee injury. You ain't had no ankle injury. I don't care what you ain't had it. Because when just a simple fact, forget quitting on your team. Somebody else who could have been in the Olympics could have been in your place. I, I don't. I, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Then it's going to reflect, and you know, you know how black people want to claim stuff. Well, man, they're going to say, see, told you, black people, when they get their DD, you know, blah, blah, blah. And this is how we used to do anyway. You know, anything happened with black people. You know, we all felt it. It's like, are hey, you letting down the race or whatever have you? And now she did more than let down the race. I don't know. Now, the biggest thing she let down the race, but she, she maybe she don't relate to that. I don't know. But what she did, she let down her team. In team sports, you can't let down your team. Hey, look, I'm, we, we, have, uh, we have our, um, uh, our annual barbecue, Penisco organization, called organization now, but my pleasure, military fraternity. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you, my line, <laughs> you quit, you out. That's fine. That's fine. It's, you know, you didn't make it. But in my line, we do. I mean, I want to say, let's put it this way. There only, there's only five people that made it on my line, right? Because we wouldn't quit. Us five wouldn't quit. This started with, I mean, over 35, whatever, every 45, whatever it was, people. But we did not quit. <laughs> All five of us, the five that remained, it's, it's a thing you got to go through, no matter what. The pain, the ache, the, 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 we had a lot of study, you know, cross the burning sand, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? The, 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 the what do you call it, humiliation, if you will. You know what I mean? None of us quit. When you quit on your team, on your grouping, I mean, there's a saying, through the military thing, who would you want to be in a foxhole with? Now, as far as I'm concerned, if, if Simone Biles was coming to my air, we was in the she come out here? No, nah, baby, <laughs> you got to go someplace else. Nah, 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 you can't quit on us now. It's, look, I, I don't know what to say, man, but this is going to be, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. And then I hear, I just heard, I heard this on the, the guy that was doing the commentary that I heard this from, that, you know, it seems like Twitter or whatever your people, they're, they're, they're doing to her like she's a hero. For quitting? I don't know if the sports people are saying that, but, oh, here's the top. Here's the top. I don't know if the sports people, see the top, I'm not advertising, I'm just saying this is the top. Um, the sports, sports people are saying that, well, it's what's the sports people saying, that's what I'm saying. What's her team, forget the teammates, what's the other sports people saying? Because I think this thing, the social media, they, they getting way too much clout uh, to still do stuff, because you, you, you might be a person that never, ever, pledged to a fraternity or been in the sports and been a competitive thing and you just go and have an opinion on something you're going to say oh that was courageous because of what nah man uh -uh. I ain't going for it mm. tastes pretty good man unbelievable oh so here's what I'm doing oh sorry no orders this is the uh, um, cranberries that I because you know you have the dried fruit dried fruit is not that good for you because I think they use sulfur or whatever sulfites Sulfur, whatever they use. Um, 
But I did get through. Did I do this? No. Oh, at least. No, it's not organic. It's not organic. But look, what I heard a long time ago, I was in Cape Town, they said all cranberries come from, um, at least the ones you get, they come from, um, I think Hawaii or California, someplace, someplace like that. So I guess, you know, I don't know what I guess, but that's the deal. Uh, so, and back to the point. So this is like disturbing, you know. Whew. You quit on your team, meaning that you didn't let, uh, you know, ooh, ooh, it's terrible. Anyway, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be Simone Biles. And this, this is not like Naomi's, whatever, Naomi's, whatever, you know, the tennis player. You know, she's playing for herself, and it wasn't that kind of stage. In fact, she's, she's going to be in the Olympics. She probably might get questions about this. There's going to be all kinds of related questions about that. In fact, uh, I think uh, yeah, the guy was saying that, you know, well, I know this. Scotty Pippen um, didn't do something trying to be, I guess people say she's in. But to this day, 30 years later, he's regretted that. So she's got to live with that for the rest of her life. Too bad. Anyway, look. So, oh, I just wanted to show you how it turns out, I think. Um, so I'm putting the cranberries on that little cream cheese on top, on the, in the middle of the, um, what do you call that? The celery, the organic celery stalk. Uh, and I'm putting that there like that. I'm going to end this by just showing you this because I got to wait for the salad thing for later. Because I'm making my own, like I said, I'm making my own dressing. Uh, uh, oh, da, 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 da. Okay, so you have, I have something like this, right? See, it looks like this. You know what this is? You know what this is? You know what this is? Okay, let me tell you what it is. You do it with the kids all the time. What you do is, usually you put peanut butter on I'm using this, uh, I'm a, I don't want to say fake cream cheese. This is vegan cream cheese, right? And, you know, you put the peanut butter on, da 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 and, and then you put raisins on there, and you call it ants on a log. Ain't that cute? If you have raisins, go ahead, ants on a log. If you put, like I did, the cranberries on it, it's called, wait for it, you know what it is, you know what I'm going to say, red ants on a log. I'm telling you, man, you have a party, when I say, but, we're red, but, but you have like a, a teenage, a kid's party, they love this. And that's what you do. It's like an hors d'oeuvre. I would wait, what time is it? I guess it's after six, six, seven hours. Yeah, I guess, then I guess I can start eating this stuff now, or keep on preparing now. Let's see what happens. It's ants on log, and it's delicious. Believe you me. Me being T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know. Mm. What I only suspect.